Uh, Menoth came up, did a little damage to this guy, nearly wrecked my ironclad, although the damage was well spread out. Let's take a look here. Damage was well spread out, so I didn't lose any anything just yet. Um, but he's base to base with that guy, and when it was my turn to strike back, I couldn't hit him. I rolled a three twice, and it wasn't enough. Um, these guys are going to be completely probably destroyed, but um, I don't I don't know what's going on. Uh, we we move forward into into this guy so that he can't uh, attack Striker. Striker's moved around with all his focus, so hitting him is going to be problematic to begin with. Uh, but he's he's basically using speed at this moment. These guys are locked in close combat, and uh, it's mental. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Turn four. Okay, so at the conclusion of the Menon phase, the Warcaster destroyed uh, the Warjack here and made a beeline for this guy uh, and locked up all my other Warjacks. These are really the only two models Signar has left. It's the top of Signar's phase. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do just yet. Um, I don't really know. This will be an interesting game, guys. Uh, the first thing that happened was um, Striker ran by this Warjack who got an attack of opportunity but didn't successfully wound him because he had so much um, focus stacked up on him. He then cast Earthquake which knocked down the enemy Warcaster, this Warjack, and this Warjack. Uh, then the Charger ran up, shot at the Warcaster, did 5 points of damage. This guy ran up to lock him in close combat so that he can't just wail, run over to my Warcaster and wail on him. Uh, this heavy Warjack moved up to be in base or in close combat to lock these guys up, and my Long Gunners took out the rest of the choir of Menoth. But Menoth still has that Warjack over there, and uh, as brutal as I've been seeing this guy take things down, I, I don't foresee that this guy's going to survive past this round.